Hey guys, it's Tim, and today I'm going to show you how to carve an image, or another file for that matter, uh, from raw data. Um, you can get this raw data from, um, you know, network capture, packet capture, Wireshark, um, or just a forensic image of a hard drive or something like that. Um, so, uh, let's just jump right into it. So, the data that I have, it's called Image Carve uh, 2017. Um, I'm going to use a couple of tools to carve out the file from the data. Uh, I'm going to use XXD to view it and to calculate um, how large the file actually is. And then I'm going to carve it out using a program called DD in Linux. Um, so let's just go ahead and take a look at what the data looks like first. So it's just going to be XXD. And then I have this copied here, so I'm going to paste that in there. And then I'm going to search, well, first thing let's do is let's just see what it looks like. So you see all this hexadecimal data. Um, so in here, one of these rows is where the file starts and one of them is where the file ends. So um, we got to try and find that out in order to clear the data. So I'm just going to hit Q on that. Um, so what I'm going to do next is I'm gonna try and find the start of the file. So what I'm gonna look for, I'm just gonna use grep to search for FFD8, which is the uh, is a signifier um, for a, uh, a JPEG file, which is the file we're gonna be looking for. Um, so when I run that command, as you can see, it appears a few different places in this uh, file here or in the data but there's only one row in here in particular where we're looking uh, where we're interested in and, it, and that would be this one um, because uh, we either want it to have JFIF or JPEG in uh, this part of the data JFIF is just a, um, a protocol or a format used for sending images over the internet um, so the important thing about this is the this uh, piece of information right here, which is the hexadecimal data. So what we have to do is convert this into decimal, so we can uh, so we can tell exactly where the file is starting. Um, so to do that, we'll just use this command, which is this is just essentially a calculator command. <clears throat> And then for this, we're going to want to put in, we're going to want to eliminate all the zeros before the row, so these three, and then we're going to want to capitalize all the letters. So um, we'll put in a semicolon, and then just 36 capital AC zero, and then we'll stop that, and then this part of it is just uh, for the calculation. And so that's this number right here represents where the file actually starts but what we're going to want to do before we do anything else is we want to add six to that because um, we need to account for where um, all of the different header information because if we don't then the the, the program we use to open the file uh, once we carve it is not going to know what type of file it is so we want to add six to that and that would make it Let's see, two, two, three, nine, four, two. So that's that's all we need for that. Now uh, let's try and calculate the file's end. So let's try it. It should be xxd. We'll just do dash s, and then the decimal start is what we're gonna do, which is just uh, the um, the number that we got before plus six, so that's two two three nine four two, um, and obviously the name of the file. And then this time we're going to search for FFD nine, which is which signifies the file uh, trailer. Um, so this is just trying to find the exact end of the file here. So we do that, and this row right here is returned. 5D, 3C, 6. Um, and obviously now we have to 
<clears throat> we have to uh, convert that to decimal as well. So we'll do the same command as before, but just with this hexadecimal row. So 5D, 3C, 6. And that comes at, at 381894. And so after that, we can now, since we have the, be, the, the um, value of the beginning and the value of the end, we can calculate the size of the actual uh, file itself from the data. Um, so all you have to do is subtract the decimal value that represents the beginning of the file from the one that um, represents the end. So um, that would just, I already did that, and that would end up being 16, 3, 5, 9, 2. Uh, I'm sorry, 163952. Um, and that is the size of the actual file here. So now that we have that information, uh, we can we can actually carve the file out of the data um, using this command, which is just dd oh. I'm gonna paste that in here, make it a little bit easier. That's the actual. That's the name of the data file that we're carving it from. <clears throat> Out file. I'll just name it carved. Dot. Jpg, and then let's put the byte size equal to one, and then tell it to tell it how many bytes to skip before the end of the file or the beginning of the file, uh, I'm sorry, and that's just the the, the number that we got plus six, um, which is, let's see, what was that a number again? I think that was <clears throat> 223942, oh, I bad, 223942, <clears throat> and then lastly, we just want to put in the uh, the size of the file itself. 9.5.2 and then go ahead and hit enter oh forgot to put a G at the end of that oh where am I going and I made another mistake here gotta make that equals alright let's try one more time Alrighty, and it looks like it worked that time. So let's do an ls, and let's see. As you can see up here, there's the carved.jpg, and let's take a look at what that actually looks like. Eog carved.jpg, and voila, it's a lemur. It looks like. Uh, it looks pretty cool. So this is useful. Um, this uh, method right here is useful um, in a lot of forensic investigations. They try to, they a lot of times they'll you know put a packet sniffer on a port of a suspicious individual. They'll um, they'll get the uh, raw data um, from that packet sniffer if. Um, the suspicious individual were to, you know, send a file over the internet, um, and a lot of times they'll have to carve it out uh, similar to this. I think Wireshark has some built-in functions that will do it for you, but um, it doesn't get all the files all the time. So um, this is just another more in-depth way to do it here, um, and as you can see, it worked. So. Um, and I think we're good to go. So <clears throat> if you like this video, please, please uh, like and subscribe. And don't hesitate to uh, leave a comment there if you'd like me to try anything else. And um, I'll see you guys next time.